Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR tutorial, we're going to show you one of the most amazing things on this planet. Actually, it's not that amazing, but we're going to show you a skybox. For those of you that know what a skybox is, I'm sure you'll be able to appreciate the, the effect that it creates for the user, but the actual simplicity of it in terms of programming. For starters, I'm just going to Google Skybox. I've already got an image. You need an image for this, or images. And we're just using a single image. And what a Skybox image looks like, it's essentially something along these lines. And what it does is it wraps around and it puts the camera or the player, however you want to look at it, in the center of a massive cube. And each one of the faces of the cube inside is textured with this type of image so when you look around it might not look like much at the moment i'm not using this particular one but this might not look like much but when you're actually in the game and you're looking around it honestly looks realistic it, assuming the image is realistic or it looks like it's being created with some real love in terms of design so this is sort of what the effect would be obviously these sides are invisible because we're looking in on it and to get some skybox images, if you just type in skybox images, if you go to which one is it? Free skybox images. And let's go to this one. Yeah, this is the one I use quite a bit. You can get them from here, you can get them from the A frame website. There'll be samples on there. But honestly, these look absolutely amazing so i'm just going to actually delete that because i don't need that because i've already got a sky let me close that i've already got a sky box in here and this is let me just actually open it up for you reveal in finder so this is what our sky box looks like this is essentially, it looks a bit warped, but honestly, when we apply it, it looks amazing. And especially on a virtual reality headset, again, I want to iterate, try and get hold of a virtual reality headset if you don't have one. It's so simple in a frame to create it. All you do is a dash sky, not sly, sky source. And this source could be somewhere online, but we've got it locally, so image. Oh, I mean, I am default slash sky dot jpg. Got hiccups. Then for the color, I can only ignore the color value for now. Just close that off, save it, go back to my web browser, refresh, and boom, look. It honestly, obviously, we, we can see this guy's hand because that's the way he's taking the image, but you can get an understanding of how effective a skybox would let's just maximize that a bit more yeah how effective this would be and when you don't have any of these bars or any of these icons in the dock aka in a headset it looks absolutely phenomenal if we go down we've got our object there still from the previous video and we can hover over it click it and it's doing its own thing in this world so it's a great way of what people may call sort of augmented reality, though technically this is still an image, so it's not the real world, but it's, it's sort of like augmented reality in a way. I just prefer the word virtual reality because people try and distinguish between the two. They try and say one virtual, one's augmented, and the reality is that both virtual augmented reality is just a child of virtual reality. So, yeah, that is it. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the color value. So if I go to here, type in color equals hash ff0000. So this is red. Go back to web browser, refresh. As you can see, it's added a red tint onto it, which which is, which can be quite useful. Because imagine if you're making a game and the user's getting hurt, you don't have to start making everything red. You can just apply this maybe to the skybox. Obviously, this isn't red. Maybe you just want the background to be red and not the foreground objects for whatever reason. Maybe you want that to be sort of black and white and you want this to have some color. So that's it for skyboxes. Very effective, but very simple to implement. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description alongside 
that there'll be another link to the source code from every video in this series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment. If you didn't like the video for whatever reason, leave us a comment as well. We always do appreciate constructive criticism. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.